You cannot expect to get to a place to where you feel like your soul is calling you to be if you continue to live a life to where your soul is not satisfied. And so many people are trying to make other people's dreams their dreams. They're trying to go down the same road that everybody else is going down. God did not call all of us to be entrepreneurs. God did not call everybody to go to college and, you know, get a degree. God did not call everybody to be in law enforcement. God didn't call us all in the same areas. So if you see somebody working a nine to five and they're comfortable being in that and they feel that that is secure, that is where their soul is calling them. That can possibly be where their soul is calling them. But for you, on the other hand, you might want to be an entrepreneur and you feel like that's where your soul is calling you. And you continue to try to work nine to fives because you see other people doing it because it's making good money. If you're a type of person where you would rather work a job that pays $30 an hour that you hate over a job that you love, but it pays $20 an hour. You have your priorities all wrong because your money should never be over your happiness and purpose. Your purpose should always be over money. And if God is calling you to be an entrepreneur, there are going to be seasons to where you have to, you know, be in survival mode and work a nine to five. But that doesn't mean that you stay there and you settle just because it's making good money. Like if the only reason why you're working a job is because you're saying it makes good money, it's it's allowing me to get by, then you kind of need to check in with yourself and one, and ask yourself, why are you even working that job? Because for me personally, when God had me work nine to fives, I knew that that wasn't permanent. And I knew that it was a temporary lesson that I needed to learn in order to to know how to manage money, in order to know how to deal with employees for my own business, how how the system works when it comes to being an, an employee. I had to learn those things. But if God is calling you in a season for temporary, don't make that season permanent and think that's where God called you just because everybody else is doing it. You know, when people have sent me job applications for random things, such as like being a teacher, uh, helping the elderly, riding a, a truck around that holds canned goods. Like, thank you for that advice. But like, that doesn't, that doesn't correlate to my dreams whatsoever. And if you're working a job that it's not helping with your dreams in any type of way, then you need to reevaluate what you're doing with your life. Because if you're working a nine to five, for your entrepreneurship because you have to invest, that's okay. But if you're working a nine to five, just saying, you know what, I might just settle for this because it makes better money than I would if I invested in myself. Money is not supposed to be your idol. Money should not be over what God is calling you to do. I don't know who needs to hear that, but stop getting so caught up in the material world that you forget about yourself and you forget about what you actually like to do. You don't like to be a person that helps the elderly and wipes butts, okay? And if you don't like to do that, then you need to Understand that that's just a season that you're in, that God's placing you in, but you don't stay there. If you don't like working at Walmart, don't work at Walmart. But on the other end, God's not calling everybody to be an entrepreneur. So you're trying to be a YouTuber, be a content creator. So many people trying to follow after the crowd, trying to get into fashion, be a model, be a singer, be a rapper. What if God is just calling you to be a nine to five worker? What if God is calling you to work at a community center voluntarily? What if God is calling you into a nine to five? Stop thinking that you can't work a nine to five or you can't, that can't be the rest of your life just because everybody else is trying to be their own boss and they're and creating businesses. God is not calling us all in the same area. So focus on what God's calling you to do and stop sticking with what everybody else is doing just because everybody else is doing it.